Hi everyone, welcome to my talk, Secure Pay Strengthening Two-Factor Authentication for Arbitrary Transactions. This work is part of my PhD, which I did at VU Amsterdam. Uh, now I work for Qualcomm in QPSI team. So this talk has three parts. First, we discuss what two-factor authentication is. Then we discuss the attacks against phone-based two-factor authentication. And finally, we see how Secure Pay protects from this kind of attacks. Two-factor authentication is a form of multi-factor authentication which is patented a long time ago. Basically, it allows users to use multiple components for identification. A component could be something you know, like username, password, something you possess, like bank card, something you are, like fingerprint. And the core idea is if the user is using separate and multiple components to authenticate to a system, it will be harder for an attacker to hijack that account because the attacker needs to control all those components. And today, most widely used form of two-factor authentication is SMS-based UFA. And let's see how SMS-based UFA can protect a transaction even if the user is making the transaction from a compromised device. So user authenticate to the bank, he issues a transaction to the bank. Unfortunately, attacker manages to hijack the transaction and change the transaction details to move the money to attacker's account. Luckily, user had enabled SMS-based UFA. And because of that, bank generate a transaction authorization code for this transaction and send that code and the transaction details to the user's mobile phone as an SMS. Now user sees the transaction details and suspects there's something wrong because this is not the transaction he requested for. And user basically cancels the transaction by not sending back the OTP. Now let's discuss attacks on phone-based surfing. First kind of attack is straightforward. The attacker basically has to compromise all the devices the user uses. And a lot of financial malwares achieve this by targeted phishing attacks. Also, the previous study showed that how to compromise all the devices from one compromised device by exploiting usability and synchronization features. This can also be used to bypass to effect. And we have to recognize there are a lot of users today only use their mobile phone to issue transaction. And there, is, there are a lot of kernel level exploits targeting mobile devices are also available today, which means the attacker only has to compromise only one device to compromise the transaction. And these users don't have a two-factor protection. The second kind of attack targets underlying telecommunication network. So basically, it's a man-in-the-middle attack on the telephone communication network. So all the messages sent to the victim go through the attacker's device. Surprisingly, there are a lot of reports on this attack today. And the third kind of attack is a social engineering attack called SwimSurf. Basically, the attacker convinces the victim's mobile carrier to switch the victim's phone number to a SIM card that the attacker owns. And this attack is also reported a lot these days. So to protect from all these attacks, secure pay assumes a strongest threat model. It assumes both PC and mobile may be fully compromised at the time of the transaction, and it assumes underlying network is untrusted. Now let's discuss the requirements for secure pay. The first and most important requirement is isolation of two factors that we are going to use for two-factor indication. And this separator two factor should be available for PC initiated transaction, and also the mobile only transaction as well because we know there is a rise in mobile only transaction and there is a rise in kernel level exploits targeting mobile devices. And so we want to protect these mobile only transactions as well. And for this, SecurePay utilizes trust execution environment available in the modern devices. Trust execution environment is a separated execution environment that runs parallel to the normal execution environment. While the normal execution environment runs rich operating system like Android, the trust execution environment runs as very small trusted code base. An idea is even if the attacker managed to compromise the kernel running in the normal world, normal execution environment, it doesn't affect the trusted app that runs in the trust execution environment. So basically we can use the trust execution environment to build the second factor and both execution environment exist in the same device. And the second requirement is integrity of the transaction. We have to ensure integrity of the transaction even if the end devices are compromised, even if the network is untrusted. And SecurePay achieve this using public private key cryptography. So the third requirement is that the user must be looped into enforce authenticity of the transaction. 
This also means the attacker should not be able to manipulate the content displayed by the trust and execution environment. That is the second factor. And this is achieved using a secure screen or trusted user interface. Basically, it means when the trust execution environment is using the screen, no one else able to access the screen or the content of the screen. Finally, there has to be a way user must be able to securely register the device or service they want to engage in the two-factor authentication. And secure achieve this using QR code and secure screen. Now let's assume the user wants to use a web service supported by a secure pay. First, the user has to register his device to the web service, say the bank. Uh, user first invokes the secure pay app to retrieve the public key. Secure pay app invokes the trusted app running in the trusted execution environment. This trusted app first verifies whether it has a private public key pair in the trusted execution environment. And if it doesn't have a key pair, it generates a new key pair and then display the public key component in the secure screen. Now the question is, how can the user be sure he's looking at an interface created by the trusted app, not an interface created by a malware? Ideally, we should have a trusted UI indicator like an LED light, which can only be controlled by a trusted app. Unfortunately, we don't have this kind of hardware feature and so the secure pay provides a software solution. It allows the user to set a personalized image or a secret text as a trusted UI indicator. And user has to do this when he set up the device for the first time. Note that this trusted UI indicator the user set will never leave the trusted execution environment. So this is a secret shared between the user and trusted execution environment. And that's why the user can be sure he's looking at the trusted user interface if he can verify this trusted UI indicator on the screen. And after verifying this trusted UI indicator, the user can share the public key displayed as QR code with the bank. And after this point, all the communication between user and the bank will be encrypted using the public key. Now let's see how SecurePay protects a transaction using this public key and the secure screen. So user wants to make a transaction using a secure pay integrated payment app. So user initiate the transaction using the payment app. The payment app forward the transaction request to the bank. Bank encrypts the transaction summary and the transaction authorization code using the user's public key and send the encrypted message back to the payment app. And the payment app running the normal world invokes the trusted app running the trusted execution environment. In trusted app, basically decrypts the encrypted message and display the transaction summary on the secure screen. Now, first the user checks the authenticity of the trusted user interface. When he sees the secret image or secret text, he understand the screen is under the control of trusted execution environment. And now he can verify the transaction details. And if he agree to the transaction details, he clicks accept button. And when the Exit button is clicked, the trusted app sign the OTP and send the signed OTP to the payment app. And the payment app forward the signed OTP back to the bank and the transaction is complete. Please note that SecurePay can be used to protect PC initiated transactions as well. And it only takes 30 minutes to integrate SecurePay to any payment app. And if modification of the payment app is not an option, the app developer can use the secure pay in a drop-in replacement mode. And finally, note that secure pay is a formally verified solution. Please read the paper for more details. So to summarize, secure pay can protect both mobile initiated and PC initiated transaction, even if the devices are fully compromised or even if the underlying network is untrusted. And secure pay design is a formally verified solution. Thank you so much for listening.